Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. K and welcome to the Gyne Talks. This is a we talk about everything reproductive, everything that is you, anything pregnancy for both men, women, it's for everyone. So please click the like button below, share and also subscribe to this channel. Today, I want to talk about the pap smear because January is Cervical Health Month and we want to make it make you guys aware about keeping your cervical health intact and pap smear is one of the vital things that you need to do so watch the video The pap smear is a diagnostic test that is usually used to test and check whether you have any changes in your cervix that could be or could have been caused by the HPV virus which is the one that is um, that causes cervical cancer so the pap smear is a very very important tool um, it is the one that checks the changes but there's another one called the kit the viral kit that you can check to see whether you can get the HPV virus so why I really insist on the pap smear is because it is able to tell whether there are things that have changed in your cervix whether cancerous or non-cancerous or precancerous so have you ever had a pap smear yourself or do you know anyone who has had a pap smear by the way if you're above 21 years of age you should have had a pap smear by now did you know that I didn't also know so I'm learning as well but we learned it in school so now this is why you need to know if you're above 21 years of age and you've never had a pap smear get it tomorrow tomorrow why because if you are a doctor like me and you have been in the wards and especially in big wards in big hospitals where we deal with cancers and most so cancer of the cervix and it's one of the killer diseases in this country in women you will always have your pap smear checked and done because when it's in its last stages that is cervical cancer it's 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 not good it's not good for the women it's not good for us doctors because we wish we could have done something earlier and thank god this is the earlier we are doing now because if you've never had a pap smear and you're okay thank the lord you're good yeah but if you've had if you've never had one please have one tomorrow why because there's a reason why you're listening to this message today you will save your life after this and pap smear will save your life so when it's done the pap smear it's it's a very it's not it's not a painful uh, test it's very simple it's done in less than 10 minutes in a doctor's office uh, it doesn't need any anesthesia it doesn't need anything the only uncomfortable part is when a speculum is inserted we'll put a photo of a speculum there and if you've ever gone to a gynae you've ever had a speculum done on you you will understand that's the only thing that's uncomfortable and still some of us are gentle we don't make you feel so uncomfortable okay so that's all that you need so that you can be able to visualize your cervix then we use a small brush tool that is used we take some sample it's like the way you take a cotton bud and just rub it on your t on your tongue or on your inner um, mouth cavity that's it and then it's taken to the lab imagine that's what you're missing and if it means saving your life I mean that's nothing really okay so a pap smear is very important so we keep saying pap smear do a pap smear here do a pap smear which here. I don't know sometimes you don't know then what we what do we mean by should we check regularly and how regularly should it be a pap smear once taken today if it is a healthy pap smear and it's okay and it's normal you will have the next one done in the next three years okay that's if you're under 30 years of age and anyway everyone should just have it under after every three years so if you've had one let's say at 24 years and it's normal you'll have the next one at 27 years if you're above 30 sometimes depending on how normal whether the other one was normal we can push it up to five years okay so this test is so important let me tell you because if at all it detects a problem and this is now the bulk of the video because you keep saying do pap smear, do pap smear, but okay, fine. You do a pap smear and it's normal. So what about the abnormal pap smear? 
So assuming you did your pap smear and they came, it came back and said you had something like CIN1, which is a very hard, you know, word that you never had before. It sounds like cancer. No, 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 it's not cancer. CIN1 is just a change uh, in the cervix and could have been because of reaction due to infection or anything. You know, even HPV it could have caused it. But what we do with that one, we just say, okay, fine, let's do another one in six months okay so it's either it's either written cin1 or an lcl if you see either one of those two lcl or cin1 lcl is low grade squ uh, squamous interepithelial uh, lesion if we get that then we can repeat your test after six months or if you see something called ascus as in those are really hard word words for you but all you need to know is do not panic by the way those are just changes and can happen to anyone so we repeat the test after six months okay so if we do at six months and find the same thing and has not reverted back to normal then we will need to do another test now this test we also do it to people who have anything above cin1 which is cin2 and cin3 or hcl just forget about the words, but if you just hear anything of the sort or see it in your pap smear, because I know some of you who are watching this have gotten these results before and have been given some diagnosis and they don't understand it. This is what it just means. If you have anything HCL or CIN2, CIN3, I know those ones who have had this, they understand better. We do another test to remove that part that has that change we even remove it all and then we take it to the lab so when you take it to the lab we are sometimes able to remove all that abnormal tissue and imagine you go back to normal imagine and it could have turned into a cancer so if you see anything like lcl or cin1 it means okay or, or ask us it means then you will repeat your test after six months if you get anything like cin2 3 or hcl that means there will be another test and that test can also be a, treater, a, tre a treatment at the same time a diagnostic test. So it's very important because most people who've had this and we've caught it early like in the HCL and CIN2 and CIN3, we remove those cells, take them to the lab. If they are non-cancerous or they say, okay, fine, we've removed all those precancerous uh, cells and we've taken we've removed them we repeat another test after six months again to see whether you've cleared and then we'll repeat another six months like that and then once it's cleared for like several tests you go back to your normal check and schedule imagine okay so so i know it's gone too fast really but all i'm saying is that a pap smear is able to detect a few things in your cells in your cervix and when we detect that thing, we are able to catch it and remove it early. Assuming it comes out as a cancer, like there's no doubt about it, no doubt. There's no time to check six months, six months, six months. What do we do? We consider whether you are intending to conceive or not. So if you're intending to conceive, it means then we cannot remove your uterus, right? Because you need your uterus. So sometimes we consider to remove that whole part of the cervix, okay? We remove it all. And then when you get pregnant, there's a way to stabilize your cervix by that part that is remaining by closing it with a, with a string. You've heard of us stitching the cervix. So it is possible that if at all we got that cancer and it's not far gone, it's just within the cervix, we're able to remove that area of the cervix and leave it and hopefully get a healthy pregnancy. Okay. But if you're over a certain age, you're done getting your children, then we consider removing that, that whole uterus and other parts that could have gotten that, that um, malignancy or cancer. See how a pap smear does so much for you? Really so much. So there are different stages of different things that you can manage when a pap smear is abnormal. So do not, um, do not panic. There are things we can do at every stage. But really, most of you, when you do your pap smear, it's going to come normal. So don't stop. If it's normal, every three years, or if you're above 13, 30, uh, 30 years and above, it may be after every five years. The test for the virus is also important. But assuming you get the virus is positive, so, okay, it's positive. You'll still have to do a pap smear every three months. So it doesn't really change much. But if, you're, if you test and find the virus is negative, then even you might even benefit better when you have your vaccines done. And this is where vaccines come in for cervical cancer. There are two vaccines that have been used for a long time. There's Cervarix and there's Gardasil. 
So Savarix covers around five of them, five types of the HPV, and then Gardasil has nine. It, it, it covers more. So both of them protect from the cancer-causing types. Um, Gardasil has another extra cover, so it might be more expensive for Gardasil as compared to Savarix. But the point is, have a vaccine done especially if your pap smears have been normal and if your virus test has been negative so that will be life-saving you will not end up having stage four of the disease because going back and the complications even after radiotherapy are crazy so you'll be happy when you do a pap smear so from dr k please make sure you share this with anybody who has suffered these problems anybody who has never had a pap smear and everybody who's 21 years and above. See you.